Well guys, today the wild man has a special treat for you. Um, as often as I've come to Texas over the past decade or so, sometimes on a yearly basis and as frequently as I've come here to uh, my wife's uh, grandpa's house, I've never ever seen one of these. Even though he lives across the street from a bunch of uh, sugarcane fields, this is a cane toad. Now they are, they're massive. They can actually get 10 inches in length. They're a large terrestrial toad. Like other toads, they're going to start off uh, mating in the water and lay their eggs there. These guys can actually lay thousands of eggs, which uh, leads to them having some, uh, you know, pretty high success rates with reproduction. And uh, they're actually native to Central America. So they can be now found in many other places, including a lot of the uh, islands in the Caribbean and actually in northern Australia as well. Um, the name cane toad comes from when they were introduced to uh, help control pest populations in, uh, in the sugar cane fields. So the fact that there's sugar cane fields across the street and these guys are here um, across the street from the sugar cane is really no, um, no real coincidence. So they do uh, a great job at pest control and uh, they'll eat a lot of insects, they'll eat certain uh, other amphibians, reptiles, they don't eat birds, bats, um, and they also uh, eat dead, dead things and they'll eat garbage, they'll eat dog food, they'll eat plants, so that kind of sets them apart from a, a lot of other ones. Um, oh yeah, they'll eat rodents too like mice and rats, whatever, the, well, smaller rats, but mice, you know, things like that. Um, these guys can, like I said, grow to 10 inches. And uh, I guess their size, as far as how big they can get, depends on uh, who all they're hanging out with. If there's a lot of them in an area, they're going to have such a competition for the food that, uh, that they won't um, get as big because there'll be so many of them. And we found quite a few smaller individuals. This was the first one we found, and when I showed it to Pinky Pepper, she's like, is that real? Because it, I mean, it looked like a toad statue just sitting there. It's a huge, huge individual. So, toads are covered with some warty skin. You're not going to get warts from that. And although there are some uh, frogs too with, uh, with rougher skin, what sets toads apart from uh, frogs is the parotoid glands. Um, interesting thing about the parotoid glands, they secrete uh, bufotoxin which uh, most animals don't like and uh, can actually be toxic to many animals including humans. There's been reports of humans dying from eating cane toads and uh, one thing that's interesting too about the uh, cane toad is that what their uh, things they secrete is bufo, uh, bufotenin. Now bufotenin is a chemical that they uh, secrete. Now it is listed in some places as a like a class one drug like heroin and other, drug, uh, other drugs, and uh, what it does is it gives you a mild poisoning. And with that mild poisoning, there's a, can be mild hallucinations. So unfortunately, just like, you know, huffing gasoline or paint or other things that kids get into, if you heard about toad licking, that's where that comes from these guys. Um, it can lead to death. So... Probably not something many of you guys are going to do. In fact, no matter what the uh, results, a lot of you probably wouldn't want to lick toads in the first place. But uh, this guy is awesome. He's great. I'm so, so blessed to see him. I'm going to show you just a couple smaller individuals quick. We uh, grabbed up. Now these guys, you know, I mean, plenty of toads get this size. They just do. Plenty of them are chubby little ones like that. In fact, a uh, adult. Uh, American toads up north, you know, they'd be about this big and that'd be all the bigger they'd get. Um, maybe a little bit bigger than this. So, you can see how much bigger these guys actually do get. Let's see, what's the smallest one we found last night? Eh, maybe something like this would be about as small as we were finding them. Which is, you know, common for a lot of toad species. But when you compare, like, a regular toad, that'd be about that size to this guy. I mean, you're definitely on a whole nother level. Yeah. So. All right. Pop out. New 
new species for me here, guys. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.